know the difference between being poor and being broke? You may not have the material trappings that you want, or you may not live in a place where you think you deserve to live or should be at that time. But the point is, if you believe that you belong there and you don't know that you're capable uh, and deserving of having more, of doing more, of being more, that's really what's being that that's what what I call being poor because it's be it's poor of spirit. For example, I don't believe that Oprah Winfrey was ever poor. I don't believe that Eon Levan Zant was ever poor. You there's a difference between being poor and being broke. You may not have money. You may not have material acquisition. You may be sleeping on somebody else's couch. You could even be sleeping outside. I don't believe it makes you poor. What makes people poor is the belief system that they cannot do or be anything more. You see what I mean? You know, you're, you have to know that where you are physically does not determine your destiny, that your circumstances do not make you who you are. So if you don't know that, that's what make you, makes you poor, not not having money. Because it goes and comes. Money is a medium of exchange. Material, you know, goes and comes. They ebb and flow. You could have it one day and not have it the next. I saw my mother, who was a taxi driver, um, come home some days and she would say she was broke. And I and I would see her the next day. And she's come home and literally money is flying all around her. I me- remember one time she got out of her car, out of her car, and she used to wear like an apron. They wore aprons where at, during that time where they kept their money, and somehow the apron became dislodged, and all the money, like pay, you know, dollar bills of all denominations, start falling, and they were flying all in the sky. And we, the kids who happened to be playing outside at the time, you know, ran around. She was like, run around, get that money, get that money. And then she paid everybody something for picking it up for her. But the point was, it looked like it was literally raining money to me as a child, like about a six or seven year old, when in fact the the day before she didn't have any. So that's just a tiny example to say to you that your circumstances absolutely do not determine your destiny. And if you don't know that, it makes you poor of spirit. If you don't know that, then you are bound to repeat mistakes that you might have made before or the generations before you might have made before because you don't know that your capability is greater than that which people might pigeonhole you into, that might box put you in a box about, you know what I'm saying? To say that, oh, he or she is poor, so therefore they can't do any better. If you believe that, that's what makes you poor. Not having money makes just makes you broke. And you can rise above that.